All right, so this is test server 1.1. I'm currently using Mental just to show you what it looks like. So I'll just go right into my stats. I have 10,000 might. I have 10,000 precision. I am fully modded. In my yellows, I have might and power. In my reds, I have precision might because it does seem like with this update, you do have to use your weapon just as much as your powers uh, because you'll be using it to regen power. Um, in my blues, I have might and health, and I am fully white modded. All right. My CR is 173. Okay, I'll go into my loadout and just show you what's changed. Uh, horrific Visage is your supercharged generator, which means when you hit it, you'll gain 15 to 20 percent super. Cryokinesis is a uh, really strong burst damage power. I just found that out recently. Pyrokinesis is a dot, and so ideally, I would hit the dot first, and then I'd just spam Cryo with uh, Solar Flames. Um, Mass Terror is now a dot and terrorize is still a 35 percenter invisibility does give you a boost when you go into it so going into your buffs after hitting invisibility you will see that you gain uh 60 percent crit 60 percent uh crit ability and weapon basically um also uh obviously advanced mechanics are gone so some ch powers have changed what used to be uh, resonance is now called Psychic Prison. This is now a dot. And what used to be a shortcut to a uh, Mass Terror, this is just now a detente and a shield. Uh, that would be Grandeur. Um, what else? Uh, I guess I'll go over what powers I think are worth having in your loadout and which ones are not. I wouldn't use Menace because it's it uses a chunk of power doesn't initially do any damage and in this in this update um running out of power is a real issue like if you use like in my opinion if you use something that isn't going to give you any damage it's just going to give you a buff uh and is going to use a chunk of power um you'll find yourself out of power pretty quickly um maybe if you have a troll that will change so uh, i guess if you have a troll, maybe Menace is worth using, but I would keep it out of a uh, loadout at the moment. Um, TK Bolt uses a lot of power, and I think it has a long cooldown, so I wouldn't go using TK Bolt, and I wouldn't go using Phantom Flames, because it's the same thing. And Phantom Flames doesn't even dot anymore, so uh, you don't want to use that. Mass Lev hits hard, whether you're in invisibility or out of it. Uh, so that's a pretty good power. Um... Cryokinesis, though, I mean, this this just hits hard, like, almost all the time. Like, this is a good power. Um, also, uh, Psychic Shock and TK Push hit pretty hard. So, if you're going full burst, um, I mean, you can just stick with Cryo if you want to go full burst because it has such a low cooldown and it hits hard. So, like, as you can see, its cooldown is almost instant. And it doesn't use too much power. So in between like solar flames, you'll pretty much be able to spam it. Okay, so um, also going into invis to show you my supers. Bolt Barrage is currently, I think, glitched because it says it hits multiple enemies. But I've only gotten it to hit one target no matter how close the enemies are. Uh, Mass Hysteria uh, is now 100% supercharged. But it does have movement mode now, which means... When you go into it, you can fly, and you can fly fast, and uh, building supercharge isn't that hard nowadays. I mean, not nowadays. Building supercharge isn't that hard now, because uh, they just made it a lot easier, especially with the supercharge generator, and like um, it just feels like your weapon combos and powers generate supercharge pretty quick. Maybe it's just a combination of the generator and like just how you used to build supercharge like on live game, like combining those two means you just get supercharges a lot faster all right so i suppose now i'll just go in and hit the ads with uh some powers so i'll start off with cryo and then i'll show you that horrific visage does build a chunk of super there you go as you can see cryo on its own is very capable of killing uh the ads in here i'm currently in typhon the ads are 186 and although cr scaling is gone um they still do hit hard like they hit hard and i don't have uh very much defense because i'm only 173 so when they do hit me it's gonna hurt um but you can just see for yourself how hard i'm hitting with cryo almost three shotted that ad 
with uh, rotations. And that may not seem like a lot if you're comparing it to live game, but understand from advanced mechanics to stats matters, it'll be a definite damage downgrade. And also, all this stuff is subject to change as far as uh, what you're seeing. So if it changes, keep an eye out on the forums. I'm just showing you what it looks like at the moment. Uh, couldn't help but pick up that exo bit. I don't know why. Um, so yeah, uh, cryo hits hard, and I'll just... I think ideally you want to start with the dot and then just spam cryo. So you want to use cryo and pyro basically. Um, but I could be wrong. I mean, that just seems like a loadout that would work really well. Um, also, I sh yeah, I almost have a 100% super, so I'll be able to show you what um, mass hysteria looks like now. And uh, that it does have a movement mode. So let me just finish off this uh these two ads okay so i wanna this area will be good so i'll just tag these two cyclopses all right so i'll wait till i counter them so they don't knock me out of invis okay the ghosts of mass terror like they hit really good and now I'll just like they almost kill those ads on their own. So mass hysteria is really good. It lasts 30 seconds, and you do have a movement mode now. Hopefully I'll be able to fly before it runs out. And you can fly fast, so that's cool. Uh, mass hysteria is has been upgraded in my opinion. Um, it being 100% isn't a bad thing because you build supercharge quick regardless. So you'll have it ready whenever um it'll probably build this like in the way it builds to 50 percent on live game it'll probably feel the same in test server in like stats matter 1.1 because in in uh stats matter you build supercharge really quickly so yeah so now i'll just build my way to a 50 percenter and hit um bolt barrage yeah And after I use Bolt Barrage, I suppose I'll show uh, the other burst damage powers, and and um, you'll be able to see what they hit. <clears throat> I should really get some water. Yeah, you'll be able to see what they hit. Alright, we are at... Should be 50. I'll just... I keep targeting the freaking crystal, or the mechanic, or whatever that is. Alright, so I'll just hit one more just to be sure. 24,000? Did you guys just see that? I mean, freaking horrific massage just hit 24,000. Like, I didn't even know it, it could hit that high. Okay. Alright, so, uh, yeah, I definitely have enough now. And I'll just tag this satir, satire. And wait for it to get real close. Then I'll wait for it to try and combo me so I can get a blue. Alright, so Bolt Barrage. What? That was strange because earlier I hit Bolt Barrage and it wasn't hitting multi target. Do the ads need to be extremely close together? Like, do they need to be basically shoulder to shoulder because I hit it three times earlier and it wasn't hitting multi-target so I guess uh, it's still AOE uh, and it does hit hard as you just saw so if you have enough uh, supercharge to hit it I would su I would suggest maybe consider using it instead of mass hysteria but I would still say mass hysteria is a safer bet because it'll always hit AOE like it won't just um, it won't rely on your Targets being shoulder to shoulder, basically. So now I'll put on some burst damage moves. Well, some more burst damage moves. So I'll put on um, Psychic Shock and TK Push. And, uh, yeah, that should be pretty much it as far as the ones I would use. Okay, cool. And I'll also show you uh, Terrorize is still very... Well, I don't, it's good. Like, it's really good. 
because I don't think you would use it in live game. 35. Uh, I should have used it sooner. Oh man, I'm out of power. Alright, terrorize. What? He just disappeared. What the hell? Got scared. Alright, terrorize. Yeah, so terrorize still hits good. Uh, if your target's... I would even use it if your target's like 40% health. Because uh, they'll be 35 by the time that last hit gets in there. So, so now let's test out um, Psychic Shock. I think Psychic Shock has a PI where it'll, yeah, terrified enemies take more damage. So let me, let me set up that power interaction. I think I'll use uh, Terror Tendrils to do it. Mass Terror would probably be the better option. I don't know, but it has a long cooldown. That's the problem. <laughs> damage inflicts terror. Okay, cool. Terror Tendrils, Tendrils. Okay, Psychic Shock, 13k, Tire Tendrils, because that ad didn't have it. Psychic Shock, Psychic Shock. I don't know, I still say Cryo is the better option, because, I don't know, Cryo itself might be one of those powers that uh, sets up a PI and hits harder on that PI, like, inflicts Frostbite. Yeah, so, Cryo is dope because it'll not only set up its own PI, but it'll hit harder on its own PI. So it sets up Frostbite and then it hits harder on Frostbitten enemies. So that's that's kind of I wouldn't say OP, but that's that's really good. So that's an ideal power to have in your loadout. Okay, so going into TK push, enemies take additional damage when dazed. So I will use I guess TK to daze. All right. And is TK still single target? Let's test that out real quick. I'm See if TK is still single. Yeah, TK is still single target. But okay, the dreadful co cockatrice, cockatrice, whatever, is day. So let's hit TK push. 12k. I mean that's not bad. I'm gonna die. And that was the crit. So you'll get around. You'll probably get around 12 to 14k with TK push, assuming that target is dazed. <laughs> Also, mass levitation is a good way to daze enemies, so let me just put that on. Not only is it a good way to daze enemies, but it's also uh, a pretty hard-hitting power. So, let's start off, as you can see. So, TK push hits double when enemies are dazed, so... Yeah, I mean, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. That actually hits pretty good. Again, I would still say cryokinesis is the way to go because it doesn't require you to have a power on your bar that's just used to uh, set up power interactions. It actually sets up its own PI. 14k, hold on. 14 plus 6. So it hit 20k right there. So you might want to use TK push. If it, it feels like there's so many options right now just just to mess around with. Only problem is Mass Lev itself uh, has a long cooldown. I don't know. I'd still use I'd still use uh, Cryo. I don't know. Sub, so, uh, you figure out what's better for you. If it if it goes live this way, then uh, yeah, you figure out what works for you. But I would personally still use Cryo and Psychic Shock or Mass Terror and Psychic Shock. Probably. Probably, uh, psychic Shock, what am I doing? No, I would still use Cryo and Pyrokinesis. And I still didn't put on the right power. Cryo and Pyrokinesis. I would use Pyrokinesis first, and then I would just spam Cryo. Because Pyro itself has a good AoE. Uh, that wasn't a great example, because I guess that ad was too far away. But um, it has a good AoE, and... It's uh, low power consuming, and it has an immediate cool, like not an immediate cooldown, but a pretty short cooldown, which means when one set of ads dies, the other one, like the power will be ready to hit on the other set of ads. So yeah, that's just uh, 
Uh, actually, no. Let me go into the dots. Fully go into the dots for mental. So that was burst damage. Now I'll do dots. Initially, I thought the dots would be the way to go as far as DPSing with mental, but it's, it's starting to look like burst is like really good. Like it's, and if everyone's using burst and burst is doing really well, dots won't be too good. Like they won't be. Uh, ads will pretty much be dead by the time all your dots get set. So that's what a dot loadout would look like. I should have kept, you know, doing damage, but also it does use more power. And uh, Psychic Prison is mid range, so from what I can tell. Yeah, so it seemed like if I still had Cryo on my bar, I probably would have killed that ad a lot faster than the dots were able to. So, anyway, this is just showing you what how much damage the dots themselves can do. And it's, it's not bad, it's not bad at all. Um, the dots are strong, but. I would still say um, burst may be stronger. Could be wrong, but this is it's just my experience, and you're able to see that experience. So uh, you be the judge, I suppose. Um, so yeah, that's I'd say that's the end of this video. Um, I don't want it to be too long. It's probably 20 minutes already, but hopefully you appreciate being able to see um, what's going on on test server. All of this stuff could change, but if it does go. If this is the final build for mental, then this is what you'll get. If they do change, keep an eye out for uh, on the forums, and uh, at least you'll be able to know what it used to be and what it's going to be, basically. So yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.